Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So in this particular video, we'll see how to solve or I would say resolve the error related to devices not certified by Google in your Google Play Store. So I think in last few months, I have seen this particular error in various custom rooms and few users have also complained about this and I have told them few uh, resolutions and so on. So I thought let's create a video on that as well. So for this, let me open the Play Store first. So uh, once you'll open the Play Store afterward, you just have to tap on settings and afterward you just see at the very below that play protection certification device is not certified. So for this particular thing to resolve, there is a very straightforward approach or I would say process. So let's begin with that. So for this, you firstly need to install Magix or you should have a Magix manager installed on your phone or I would say you should root your phone and so on. So this is a dedicated article that I have written in the month of December. Uh, uh, 2019 so we'll be uh, like focusing on the same so I've already provided you the URL from where you can provide uh, download the magics so just tap it here and afterward you just have to move to the very latest version so at this moment it is magics version 20.4 just tap it here and afterward you just have to click on these assets and afterward asset you just have to uh, select magics version 20.4 just download it and keep it in your either internal storage or I would always recommend to keep it in your external storage like micro SD card or uh, I would say OTG pen drive and so on and afterward it is a very straightforward approach to do it just flash it in TWRP recovery mode and again there are a few prerequisite like you should back up your data for the safer side charge your phone battery to 50% but I recommend 80% that bootloader should be unlocked TWRP custom recovery should be installed installation part is really very simple install a flash the magics and wipe cache it I'll be reboot the phone and finally magics has been installed on your phone so let's begin with that so I'm just going to reboot my phone and I'll also show you that my phone is already like the bootloader is already unlocked uh, just wait for two to three seconds so here is a warning for the same that bootloader is unlocked and so on and now I'm just going on uh, like by tapping on the volume down button so that I can boot into the recovery mode. So finally we have been booted to the TWRP recovery mode and you can view the home screen of a TWRP recovery. So according to the I would say blog you just have to tap on install and afterward you have to find uh, the downloaded magics version where you have kept. So at my side I have uh, downloaded on my micro SD card. So I'm just going to the desirable folder. So this is that file magics version 20.4 just tap it here and afterward just swipe to confirm flash. So in certain cases it took nearly about three to four minutes. So just wait till that time it complete the installation process. So finally the installation of magics is completed or I would say we have successfully rooted our phone. We are having two options. One is wipe cache Dalvik and another is reboot. I always recommend to do cache, wipe cache and Dalvik because it will clear all the junk files in the background and now I have successfully rebooted my phone. So it will take nearly about two to three minutes to successfully boot it to the home screen. So let's wait till that time. So finally the phone has been successfully booted after uh, routing our phone or I would say installation of Magix or Magix Manager. So just wait for one to two seconds and you will view here Magix Manager app. So finally you are able to view the Magix Manager. Just tap it here and afterward it will open its own interface. You just have to tap it here. And now it is asking download the proprietary code. Yes, we have to just tap it on OK and it will now, it will now download and check for the safety net issues and so on. So it is showing us CTS profile equal to false. This is because because of this particular error, the device is not certified. So for this, there is a very straightforward approach. You just tap it here and afterward move to the settings. And afterward, you just have to go here. That is magic side. Just turn it on. And afterward, you have to move to the Play Store. Just long press here and afterward move to this particular file icon. And just clear the uh, cache. And I would always recommend you to clear the storage as well. There is no pain, pain in doing this as well. And afterward, you just have to wait nearly about two to three minutes and in certain cases, five to seven minutes because it will clear the cache and it will. And afterward, once you will open the Play Store, it should show you devices certified. But again, just for your verification, we can see at this moment, I don't think it will be showing us but because we have to wait for certain time. Uh, so let me show you that as well. 
like we have cleaned the cache and store it that's why it, that particular option is not yet available we have it is showing devices certified or not or play protection certification and so on so you just have to wait for certain minutes or i would say four to five minutes and afterward this option will be available there and it will show you that device is certified so let's wait till that time that option uh, is back on my play store so after just waiting for one to two minutes that particular play protection certification is available and it is showing me that device is certified so successfully we have certified our device on the google play store now there will be no issue so this was all from our side related to this particular error that how to resolve the error related to device is not certified by google on your google play store hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks